Howdy. <clears throat> so today's video is going to be a little bit different. Uh, I was contacted by the director of a dance team uh, for Randolph High School cadet dance team, Mrs. Crumpler. She's a friend of mine from a long time ago. We've been friends since high school. And she asked me to do a full face tutorial for the dance team. Uh, I'll be doing a couple of these. It will be full face. I might reference some other videos like how to do a winged liner or applying mascara, but I'm gonna do a full video for them so that they can do uh, pep rally makeup. This one's gonna be for pep rally makeup. Uh, and the other one is going to be uh, for game day, I think. Yeah. So we're gonna be doing a more neutral kind of look today. The other look will be using more like a blue shadow base. Uh, but I wanna give you guys a complete look from start to finish on how to do your makeup and how to get it done uh, the most efficient way possible, but still looking really great. Um, and as you notice, I'm wearing literally nothing on my face right now, uh, and that's where you're gonna start. Um, the only thing I have on is moisturizer, and if you're gonna be outside, you wanna have something with SPF, so something to protect your skin. Regardless of your skin tone, you wanna make sure you're protected. Um, I have the same kit that the Randolph High School Cadet Dance Team has. I've added a few things to that, so I'm gonna go through those tools really quick with you. Uh, the things that I grabbed that are very cost-effective, but also with really good wear times and things like that. So, uh, something that wasn't included in the kit was foundation, concealer, and powder. So I'm gonna include a couple of different foundations. Um, I know that the dance team has uh, an array of different skin tones. So I'm trying to give you guys options that have um, kind of a wider range of skin tones. If you want something that is for sure going to find your skin tone, uh, the foundation you want is the uh, L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear. This is a great foundation. It's pretty cost effective. I think it runs somewhere around $11. Um, but it's gonna last you, you can use it for dance team stuff and you can use it uh, for your personal use. However, I would say if you have a bag like I do uh, that has all of your dance team makeup in it, I would make sure that you have literally everything you need to do your dance team makeup in that one bag. So all you have to do is grab it and go and you don't have to worry about it. Uh, so this is one option. Another cost effective option is the Revlon Photo Ready Candid. Uh, that's a really great one. Great wear time. It, it's great. Okay, so that is another foundation. That one runs somewhere between, depending on the sale. I got this on sale for about six bucks after coupons, uh, but without coupons, I think it runs a little under 10. Okay, so this is a good option. If you're really on a budget and you need to go to the dollar store, not kidding, you can get this at the dollar store. Believe Beauty is the dollar store brand. Um, and they have a pretty good selection um, as far as skin tone range, but they could probably work on it. This is five bucks though. So if you need something for uh, very fair skin, this is probably a good option for you. And I do believe they have some in darker tones. Okay. Let's talk about concealer. I have a couple of different concealers, but I'm gonna really focus on one. You could get the e.l.f. Camo, 16 hour camo concealer. They don't have a huge selection of colors, but the Wet n Wild concealer, the Photo Focus concealer, that's a good option for you. It's cruelty-free makeup here. Let's see if I can. There you go, beautiful. All right, so this is a good option. You get good wear time on it. It uh, is very opaque so you can get a lot of coverage. As you can see, I have some redness going on on my skin. We're gonna be able to cover all of that up with the concealer and the foundation. Uh, and then to set everything, you want a good powder. The uh, Revlon Photo Ready Powder, very cost effective, uh, good option. Um, it is uh, very smoothing on your skin, so it's gonna look good in photography. It's not gonna flash back. Um, it's gonna be great for all day wear also. So consider that. Um, so that's something that I had to add to the kit. You're, that's very individual. So you guys are gonna have to find the one that works for you. The other thing I added to the kit um, was cosmetic sponges. I just got this like three and a half dollar pack from Walmart. This is a really good option. They have a lot of things. This will last you all year plus more, okay? So it's gonna be good. And as long as you don't get them out of the package, 
you can save this and use it for the following years. So this is a great option. Um, I pulled two out to look at a little more closely. I have this guy that I pulled out um, and I've wet it. This one does not really expand. Uh, I also have this guy. This guy is like a beauty blender. It's very squishy. This is what you wanna use for your foundation and your concealer, okay? Uh, the brushes in here are great, but when you're in a rush trying to do your makeup, you don't wanna have to multitask too much. So getting a good foundation sponge is awesome. You can even just get the cosmetic wedges and wet one of those. That works if you're on a serious budget. Um, but any of those really work. So grab some cosmetic sponges, you will thank me. Uh, the other thing you're really gonna wanna keep in there is a couple of like paper towels or tissues, things like that that you can kind of wipe your fingers off on or you can clean brushes off. Like let's say you wanna transition to a different color, clean your, your, your brush off. This is a great thing to keep in your kit. So add that to your kit. Uh, you do have makeup wipes in there and that's great. Uh, but we need something dry also. Uh, let's see, a mirror if you don't have one. A mirror is a really great thing to invest in. And then last but not least, I always like to keep in there some eye makeup remover and cotton buds or Q-tips, whatever you wanna call them. So eye makeup remover, you can get this at Walmart too. It's like the Neutrogena one. I usually use the Mary Kay version, but if you're on a budget, this will work. This is great for cleanup. If you um, you know, make a mistake, you don't have to take all your makeup off, okay? You don't have to take all your makeup off. Just make sure you shake it up really good so that it's all mixed and it turns a lighter, like kind of a white color. That's what you wanna do. All right, so I have all these things in my kit. Um, oh, last but not least, you wanna invest in a setting spray. Okay, so that's gonna really help. I have a few here that are budget friendly. This e.l.f. one is good. This is the matte one. Uh, this is the matte version of the hard candy. These are both somewhere between four and six dollars. Uh, that's really good. If you wanna do something that's a little more, a little less budget friendly, but you know it's gonna work and it's gonna stay, this Mary Kay uh, version is wonderful. They work with Scandinavia. It's awesome. All right. So I have everything that you have. For your natural makeup look, we're gonna be starting off with the eyes. I always start off with the eyes because if you get like fallout underneath your eyes, you don't have to worry about messing up the foundation that you've already put down. So what we're gonna do is we're definitely gonna be starting with the um, Nude Intense palette. This is the palette we're starting with. Oh, it's reflecting. Okay, so this is the palette we're starting with. Uh, and to be honest with you guys, um, it's gonna be a little different depending on your skin tone. So the colors I'm going to work with, I will tell you, um, you need those brushes. You also need the brush that's in there. So hold on to that brush. Keep it in the palette, but we're going to be using it. For lighter skin tones, for lighter skin tones, we're gonna be using, let's see, more on this end of the palette, for darker skin tones, we're gonna to be working more on this end of the palette, okay? So that's really important to note, um, and we're gonna go ahead and get started. The very first thing that you wanna do is you wanna grab your primer, your eye primer, and you're gonna go ahead and just dab that on your eyes, okay? And then you're gonna just use this finger to tap it into your lid space. Now this primer is really neat because it's lightweight, but you also, um, it becomes a little bit tacky, so you're gonna get a lot of color payoff here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with um, what I like to call a transition shade, and you're gonna grab this brush. This is the brush that is called Crease Brush. That's exactly what we're gonna be working on is our crease. So grab your crease brush, and then you wanna find a tone in here that is similar to your skin tone. So for me, or a little bit darker than your skin tone. So one shade to two shades darker than your skin tone. So this guy right here for me, if you have a tan skin tone, probably this guy. If you are bronze skin tone, probably this guy. So this is what I'm working with. If you're tan or bronze, this is what you're gonna work with. 
All right, so what you wanna do is you wanna work this into your crease area because it's just gonna transition the color for you and it doesn't take very long to do this. So I like to call this the windshield wiper motion. It's actually a pretty common term used in the makeup community. So now you see, um, and you can blend that up a little more. If your eye is hooded, you wanna look at it like with your eye open, you wanna look, and then you wanna just blend slightly above that, okay? So I have that crease done. You can see there's a little bit more of a shadow there. So take your brush, get product on it, tap off the excess, and then go into the side and do the same thing. Windshield wiper motions. You're just kind of defining a crease here. Um, and the other reason we do this is so that the other colors uh, find it easy. You'll find it easier to blend other colors so they won't look very patchy. Okay, now you see that? That's really nice, evenly blended. We have a little bit of a shadow going on. It's awesome. All right, so now what I would like to do is I want you to take this flat brush, this guy right here, and this one is called the eyeshadow C brush. Uh, and then we're gonna take a darker shade. So what we're gonna do is, for those of you with a um, light skin tone, we're gonna work with light to tan. We're gonna work with this. For bronze skin tone, you're gonna work with this, okay? Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab this and get my color here. And you wanna pack it on like that and then tap off the excess. And then what we're going to do is we're going to work it into the outer half of your eye right here. With, this is what we call the mobile lid. So this is a neutral look, but it is gonna be a little bit on the dramatic side. Okay. See that? Okay, and you see we have a little fallout right here? Totally fine, don't even worry about it. All right, so grab, and if you find this to be a little bit intense on you, if you're, if you're very fair and you find this to be very intense on you, go ahead and use this shadow. Use this one instead of this one. So very, very fair, tan, bronze. Okay. Now we're gonna do this side. And we're just tapping it on because we want to get the most color payoff we can. And if you swipe it, that kind of wipes it away off of your lid. Da, da, da. Okay, tapping it, tap, tap, tap. Okay, now let's see how even we are. All right, we're relatively even. Now, keep in mind, ladies that your eyes don't always fold in the same way your crease isn't always going to sit in the same spot that's okay uh, and over time working on your eyeshadow you're going to realize exactly like where um, your crease sits on each eye you'll figure it out okay now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to that crease brush that we used with the transition shade and we're just going to windshield wiper motion that to blend the two together okay blend 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 because we don't want it to look crazy we want it to look like intentional right and if you find that you're having trouble getting a specific area to blend small circular motions help too Gorgeous. All right, now what I'm going to have you do is use these tools, your fingers, and then you're going to find uh, a tone that is just a shade or two darker than your skin. Uh, so for our light skin ladies, uh, we wanna use this shimmer shade. So this shimmer shade for, for light to tan, and then this for our bronze ladies, okay? So this is gonna be for our bronze ladies. And all I'm gonna have you do is grab it onto your fingertip and then tap it onto your lid space. So bronze to tan and light to tan. So if you're kind of in between, make sure you can mix these two with your fingers, but we're looking at this shimmer and this shimmer, all right? When we get to your face, we're actually gonna use the blue palette to kind of assist with that, but it's very easy to just 
rub your finger into the palette like that. Okay, I have some on my fingertip. And then we're gonna tap it right there. And you see it gives you like a little bit of a shimmer. So I tap it on. And then sometimes if I want even more opacity, I'll tap and drag just a tiny bit. Okay, now let's switch over to the other eye. This one, you always have one eye you're really good at and the other one that you feel like, why can't it look as good as the other one? Okay, tap, 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 tap. And like I said, a little bit of tap and drag is fun. All right, so this is where your paper towel comes in play or your tissue, wipe your fingers off, good to go. All right, so we have a very natural look going on. And once you look at it, okay, so with mine, when I have my eyes open, it looks very similar and that's, what, that's exactly what we want. Um, but I feel like this could use a little bit more blending and you can always go back and blend a little bit more, okay? Never feel bad about blending a little bit more. Unless you're holding up your whole team. Okay. Uh, all right, so for now, let's stop with eyeshadow. We will go back because there's a few other things we wanna do and add that'll really make your eyes pop. But let's go work on some eyeliner. Uh, we're gonna start with the infallible 16 hour wear eyeliner that we have. Uh, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do lining the waterline and lining the tight line, okay? So what that looks like is gently pulling down on your lid, your bottom lid, and going back and forth very, very gently until it deposits enough color that you see a difference. Okay, I think you guys can see a difference because I can totally see a difference. And with the top, so the the tight line is this little space right here. So what you wanna do is you wanna look down and then put your eyeliner underneath your lashes on the top. Just go back and forth. Okay, so as you can see, um, it really makes the whites of your eyes stand out. That's really great for like pictures and things. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. Boom, boom, boom. Look down. Okay. And this doesn't have to be absolutely perfect either because you're gonna be kind of far away from people. This is, this is really good for when you're doing dance team pictures and things like that. All right, now we're gonna do a little bit of eyeliner with your fancy pen here. So this one is the, what is it? L'Oreal Voluminous Liner Noir. So it's the one that looks like a fancy pen, okay? And that's essentially what it is, a fancy pen. Um, and I've done a winged eyeliner tutorial kind of tip video. I'll link that below so you can use that. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna grab my fancy pants mirror and I'm gonna try and recreate that real quickly for you guys. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do what I like to call a half wing. Um, that's way easier to do, much faster if you're on a time crunch and it still gives you kind of that really cool look, okay? So we're gonna start with this side and you're gonna do a stamp and drag. Stamp and drag. Hey, see, it kind of created a little wing there. I flip that around, and then I only bring that in halfway. See that? We have a nice little wing there. It looks really cute. Okay. All right, so that's good. Now open your eye real wide, and you wanna connect that. Okay. So there's one. Now let's do the other one. Let's see if I can do that. And this one, because I'm left-handed, I'm gonna flip this around so you can see it a little bit better. Stamp and drag. Okay, so stamp and drag. Open your eye wide, attach that wing, and then you're gonna go about halfway in and drag that out. got our wings on. So that, I know that seems like I oversimplified it. 
And if you look at it, like, let's see. This one looks like it might be a teeny tiny bit longer. So I'm gonna go ahead Stand for drag. There you go. Okay, so nice, very cool. And we have our eyeliner on. Whoop. Okay. Oh goodness. All right. So this is a really good example of you're in a hurry, and look what I did here. Do you see that? This is when these guys are gonna come in handy, and you don't want to mess up the eyeshadow you already did. So just go ahead. Okay. It's already dried. Shake up your stuff here. I'm glad this happened because this is going to happen. It's going to happen to you. So I just shook this up and then I put the Q-tip just inside the, the outer rim of this jar. Okay. Now I wanna tap it. I don't necessarily wanna drag. There you go, there you go, done and done. Now take your crease brush and just go back and forth over that. Perfect, there you go, fixed. All right, so we've got our eyeliner on, excellent. Now let's go ahead and do mascara. We're gonna do face, we're gonna do eyebrows, we're gonna do all of those things. And this is the Carbon Black Telescopic L'Oreal Mascara. So you wanna wiggle that into the base of your lashes and pull it through. I also have a mascara application video if you wanna check that out, I'll link it below also. This one, if you have the patience, you can use that technique or you can just, just drag it through and rotate the brush like every three or four times, okay? So as you can see, it adds a lot of length there. It looks really nice. When you do the other eye, ugh, other eye, just get a new dip of the mascara. Okay. Look. And you just wanna twist the brush around because it does have several sets of bristles. This is not waterproof but that's okay. Mrs. Crumpler said that that would be fun for you guys. If you find that you use this and that you just happen to glow a little bit more than somebody else and you do need a waterproof example, L'Oreal makes this specific mascara in a waterproof as well. So I'm going over it a few times because I really want these to stand out. It's a natural look, but having long lashes really brings everything together. All right, so we have our lashes done. Let them dry before you try separating them out. Just let them dry. Okay, so in the meantime, let's start on our face. Uh, and part of our face is gonna be foundation, brows, if you need them, uh, and then uh, just, doing cheeks, contouring, all of that. And I'm gonna show you how to use your other eyeshadow palette to kind of do that. So we will be using more of this palette, but we're also gonna grab your blue palette because that's gonna be great if you have very fair skin. This is gonna work well for um, doing highlighting. And this is gonna be your contour palette uh, for both looks. So regardless of skin tone, you're gonna use this as your contour palette. Uh, and you can find a highlight in there for bronze tone as well, for bronze tone skin. All right, so grab your um, awesome face primer, your Ulta face primer, boom, 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 poreless. Uh, and you wanna put just like a little, like a pea-sized amount, okay? A pea-sized amount, tap it between your fingers, put a little bit on, okay? And then you just wanna tap it into your skin, just gently tap, tap, tap. Anywhere where you have, if you've worn makeup before, anywhere where you experience creasing, that's where you're gonna want it most. So I crease through here, because I'm an old lady. Okay, awesome. So I have my primer on, 
Uh, now I'm gonna use the Fresh Wear foundation, whatever foundation you have, it's probably best to shake it up. Okay, shake that bad boy up. And then you're going to use your wet. Actually what it is is you completely saturate the sponge and then you squeeze it out. I have a video on using a beauty sponge as well. I'll link it below. But saturate this guy, squeeze out as much as you can, and then you're going to just go boom, boom, and put a couple of squirts on there. Distribute the product throughout your whole face here, and then just start pouncing it into the skin. This one's a really good one because it lasts really well. It's more of a matte foundation. Um, Blend that into your neck, ladies. You don't wanna have like a line there. So pounce this in, blend it nicely. <clears throat> I'm using my phone to record this, <coughs> which is nice because I can look at it when I'm actually working on it. Okay you wanna blend that into your hairline. So make sure you get something that's a nice match. Most importantly, when you're doing this, you wanna make sure you get something that matches the undertone of your skin. If you need help, even if you're getting these drugstore brands, like the L'Oreal one, or e.l.f., or Revlon, all of those, head to Ulta and ask them for help. They will help you. I'm gonna put a little bit more on because I really like to layer it up and give myself full coverage, especially if you get red. You'll wanna do that. Man, we're running on 30 minutes now. Also, when you're doing this with practice and such, you're gonna get really good at doing it quickly. So, you'll watch this a few times and then go from there. Okie dokie. Let me grab that, okay. So this is the rounded side that we just used to do that. Now you're gonna grab your concealer and you're just gonna apply that underneath your eyes here. Use as much as or as little as you need. If you have you know, had exams or whatever, then totally add more. All right, I'm also gonna do a little bit down my nose, a little bit on my chin, and a little bit on my forehead, okay? So that really just highlights like the bright points of your face, the things that would actually be highlighted. And I don't start with my under eyes. I start with my nose, tap that in with the pointed end, tap, 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 tap in your chin, very easy, boom, 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 tap in your forehead. And what that does is it, go, it, it gets some product already um, absorbed into the sponge so that when you go ahead and do your under eyes, it doesn't take the product away so that your under eyes will be even. Okay, you want them to be as even as possible. Okay, one under eye. And then you gotta make this stupid face, especially when you get older, to make sure you get everything in all the creases. This is why the fallout doesn't matter too, because as you blend this concealer out, the edges there, looks really nice. Boom, okay, do you see that? All right, now we're gonna grab your flat top brush. This is actually a thing called powder brush, okay? And then you're gonna get whatever powder you have. You're gonna open that bad boy. Having a pressed powder is fine too. If you find a pressed powder that you really like, go ahead and use that. I have this Revlon powder that I really like. I find that it leaves a nice finish. You're gonna start with your under eyes, okay? So what you wanna do is Dab that on to set your under eye concealer. This will help it last, it'll keep it from creasing, and it gives like a really nice finish. The other thing you wanna consider when you're getting ready to go is having a button down shirt so that you can change after. Okay, and do you see how I'm not swiping the powder on my face, I'm tapping it onto my face? You just really wanna press that powder in. You don't wanna swipe it, because what that may do is take away some of your powder, some of your foundation coverage. You wanna swipe it when it gets to your neck, because that's blending it in. Do the forehead as well, and you wanna do the same thing with your forehead. Tap it in, tap, tap, tap. 
gives a really beautiful finish. Okie dokie. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and finish the eyes so we can say we're done with that. And then after we finish the eyes, then we'll do the eyebrows, the rest of the face, and finally the lips. Uh, we'll set everything and then we'll go from there. I got a little powder on my shirt. This is the other reason I said get a button down shirt because then you don't have to worry about what you get, makeup you get on there. All right, so let's finish up your eyes. All right, now ladies. You wanna grab the darkest color that you put in this outer area. So I used this one. If you have darker skin, you might have used this guy. You might have used this guy. Whichever one you find works best for you. Okay, and I'm gonna go underneath just a little bit, about halfway. There you go, to the other side. You see that? All right, so those eyes are done. Hold on to this palette, you need it for contouring. Grab your blue palette. If you're fair skinned, grab your blue palette. Then what you're gonna do is grab the, the foam tip. Do you see how it already has product on it? I've been playing with this set. Uh, and then you wanna get the, if you're very fair, grab this one. If you're tan, grab this one, okay? These are the ones, fair, tan. Um, and then you're gonna highlight, you're gonna use this to highlight the inner corner of your eye. Wait till you see what that does. Boom. It really opens up your eye. It brings attention to the center of your face and it takes away any darkness that might be in there, okay? Inner corner highlight. And then whatever is left on your brush, go ahead and throw that underneath your eyebrow. There's one. And there's the other side. Okay, I just want this to be as easy as possible for you guys. Now the, co the color that you used for your inner corner highlight, you're gonna hold on to that because you're gonna use that to do a highlight on your cheekbone, okay? Don't put that away yet. Let's talk about, con well, let's not talk about contouring. Let's talk about your eyebrows. Um, if you feel the need to, go ahead and add some mascara on the bottom lashes. I'm gonna go ahead and do that just so we can see what it looks like. You just wanna very lightly put a coat on there. See, it doesn't make a terrible amount of difference, especially if you have dark lashes. It's not gonna make a terrible amount of difference, but we're doing the whole look today, right? So let's just go for it. Okay, now I'm gonna do my brows and I'm gonna do them very quickly because I'm gonna do the quick way of doing your brows. Grab whatever pencil matches with your hair. If you need to do this, if you have full brows and you have dark brows, skip this step altogether. If you have fair like I do, go ahead and grab an eyebrow pencil. Lightly go over the top of your lash, your eyebrow right there. We're doing quick brows, quick brows. Okay, you see that? I created the tail on my brow. Let's do the same thing on the other side just so they go together. Boom. Okay, so we have that. Okay, here you go. Now let's go on the underneath, where your brow is underneath. Now you wanna connect that to the arch. Connect that to the arch and then fill in a little bit of the tail so that it looks natural. You see that? Okay, and then we're gonna fill in the outer half, but we're just gonna wait and blend this line into the rest of the brow. Quick, quick brows. This side's always harder for me. Okay, fill in this outer side. Now, if let's say, cause this one looks a little bit thicker over here than this one, it's gonna be okay, cause I'm gonna show you how to fix that. You do not have to worry about it. Okay, so then you take the brush side of your eyebrow pencil, whatever eyebrow pencil you have. This is something else that I just, I always have an eyebrow pencil. This is from Ulta. They're on sale sometimes. Okay, brush it up and then you wanna just go across it. All right, now for the tail, 
just brush it through the tail like that. Through the tip. All right. So we have some really nice eyebrows on. Very easy, very fast. You don't have to worry about it. Now, let's say, like, you see how they don't match perfectly? Just take the foam tip with the uh, highlights color and you just want to carve that out. until it looks good to you. End of story, done and done. All right, eyes are done, eyebrows are done. Face, let's finish the face. All right, so what you wanna do is you wanna find a color that's cool toned and just a little bit darker than your skin. So for me, that's this color. For someone that's more tan, it may be this color, okay? So fair, tan, and then this guy is for bronze. If you're very, very dark skinned, you can skip this step, okay? Just skip it all together. All right, so you wanna grab this brush. You see this guy? Boom. This one is called the blush brush, but we're gonna use it for contouring. So grab that color, whatever one is just barely darker, tap off the excess, you want just a very, you see there's just a tiny bit there, and then you wanna see where my cheekbone is. You wanna get right underneath there, contour. And what I'm doing is I'm using kind of like tiny circular motions and then pulling it in. But you want it underneath your cheekbone because this is supposed to mimic a shadow. Look at that. Okay, do you see the difference? Now I'm gonna do that again. Tap, tap, tap into there. Get the excess off. And then tiny little round circles. There you go. Very, very easy. Okay, and make sure you bring it in. Um, I'm not actually bringing it all the way in. I'm pulling the brush away from my cheek so that it blends, but I want it to end right about here. Okay, so I have my contour on. We're not done yet. Uh, for those of you with very, very dark skin, your inner corner highlight and your highlight on your cheekbone is probably gonna be this guy which it's hard to see, it's very shimmery, it's beautiful, it's wonderful. That's gonna be a good one for you. It's going to create shine without looking like white on your skin, okay? So hold on to that for your inner corner highlight and for your facial highlight, this guy right here. All right, for those of us with fair skin, we're gonna use a highlight from the blue palette. Before we do that, Let's grab our big fluffy brush, this guy. And this one is the complexion brush, but we're gonna use this for blush. You're gonna grab your blush palette. Um, and then for this look, um, let's see. If you have very, very fair skin, you can use this guy. Darker skin, this guy. Very dark skin, this guy. Okay, so this is a really good indicator of just a standard blush that you should use. Uh, so I have very fair skin, so I'm gonna use this guy and I'm just gonna tap it in there, take most of it off, and then tap it onto my cheekbones. And people are gonna be far away from you, so you can kinda overdo it on the blush if you want. If you find that this one's not showing up as well on you, go ahead and move to the middle blush. You can mix them too. Don't be afraid to just go through multiple ones and mix them up. But this is the application. You don't wanna just go back and forth. You wanna tap it onto the apples of your cheeks and back. That's a natural way that you would flush. Okay. All right, blush done. All right, so the next step here is the highlight. So for highlight, I'm gonna use this fan brush. Let's see, do they call it a oh, fan brush? They call it a fan brush. For me, I'm gonna use the lightest shade in the blue palette. For people with a little bit darker skin, you can use this, or you can use that shimmer shade in the brown palette that we use for our eyes. I just grab the fan brush and wiggle it in there, and you see there's like a ton on there, tap that off. And then you just wanna take it, 
and put it right there on the upper part of your cheekbone. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. See, there's like a little bit of shine there. I'm gonna do the other side. This is just gonna create more dimension to your face so it doesn't look so flat from putting foundation and everything on it. Whatever's left over, just do it across your bridge of your nose and right on top of your lip there. It makes your upper lip look a little fuller. All right, so our face is done, our eyes are done, our brows are done. Now, last step is your lips, okay? So we have two lipsticks here that I'm gonna tell you about. So you have the Superstay, these are both the same brand, but the Lover color, that's what we're using today. This is for regular pep rallies. The color Artist, that's gonna be for pink out days. Mrs. Crumpler told me that, so. All right, so the application technique for this one, very easy, this is gonna last you all day, but just in case, use a straw after this and it'll make it last even longer. All right, so start just in the middle. Okay, and it smells so good. And then I like to take the tip of this thing and then drag it in to the middle. Do the same set thing with the other side. Okay, there's your bottom lip. Go in and grab a little more. You don't have to put it all the way in, but there's a little bit in the lid here. Grab that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make an X. One, so it's an X. Okay, and then drag it out. Okay, there's one side. We're gonna do the other side. Remember how I said your eyes are typically not even? Your lips are also typically not even, so you're gonna wanna make them even with the lip color. There we go. Okay. This is such a pretty color. Okay, so it dries down. It's always gonna feel just a little bit tacky on your skin, but or on your lips but it lasts and it does not transfer. It's amazing stuff, great stuff. And like I said, use Artist on days when it's pink out days, but you can use Lover on regular pep rally days. All right, so the last step is whatever finishing spray you got. You wanna grab that, you wanna shake it really good, and then you wanna just go after your face with it, okay? All right, girls. Ladies, this is a complete look for your pep rally look. This is the natural look. We used mostly this palette. We did also use a couple of things from the blue palette. If you have very fair skin, you're gonna need this for your highlights, okay? That's fine. It's okay to mix and match. You have these products, let's use them, right? Um, use the resources you've been given. When you're done, and you're done with, with everything that day, you go home, you're about ready to go to bed, please, please, please use your face wipes to take it all off. And then do me a favor, rinse the face wipe out and use it plain with just regular water to just wipe everything off, okay? Because the face wipes, where they are wonderful at removing makeup, they also can leave a residue that can cause you to break out. Doesn't matter what wipe it is. Any wipe can do that. So rinse out your wipe and just use regular water to get any residue off that might still be on there, okay? So this is your pep rally look. This is good for pink out days if you use the other lip color. Um, please feel free to ask questions below if you want me to clarify. I feel, feel free to do that. I will give you some answers to those things. Um, give a shout out to your uh, director, Mrs. Crumpler, because she's awesome. I've known her for a long time and she's an amazing person. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and go ahead and um, like the channel so that 
um, or not like the channel, subscribe to the channel, because I can talk, right? Subscribe to the channel so you can see whenever I do the next look for you guys. Uh, also, check out the links below so you can see more in depth on how to do a winged liner, how to do your mascara. Um, if you'd like, I can do something more in depth about eyebrows. I'm fine doing that. Check out the, um, the sponge video, it should be really helpful. I'm sorry this was so long, I wanted to explain it all to you. Um, enjoy, I hope that you guys have a great season and that you enjoy your, your performances and I will see you very soon for the next video. Um, bye.